say that the training has really impacted greatly because one, I have appreciated the, the contribution of community in planning. It was not later than yesterday that I knew that community is very important in the planning because they know what they need. They know what they lack and they know the solution. Only they need somebody to take up the solution. Two, it has made me to appreciate issues that I had taken as very minor and trivial, like gender-based violence, gender issues. But now I have known that these are very important issues we have to continue in development. There is nothing that can be done without them. They must be there. They must be integrated in all our budget of all, all our activities. The first intervention is that we have taken it as an initiative for all health activities, all health workers to appreciate uh, victims of uh, gender-based violence and take them as an emergency. They must attend to them immediately. The triage they must be taken as a center of emergency. Because I have learned that these people can even die out in the villages there. If they are not attended to, they will, they will definitely get annoyed and say, OK, I think it's better to just die. Two, uh, all facilities should plan for GBV activities. They must plan for logistics that are needed for GBV issue. I think the other thing is we should have uh, a special unit for GBV, especially at the higher facilities, health center force, given that the rate of GBV is high, especially for victims of female genital mutilation and uh, Rep. One, I now appreciate allocating funding to, to, to GBV issues. This was not a priority for us because we thought this was a community issue, community development, community development department, that was their issue. But now we've appreciated that we have to go hands on, talk about this as we treat. I'm also knowing now that we need to train the health worker on GBV, they also need a training and a mentorship to learn that these things are very important. It's not about treating them only, but it's also about having health education with them, talking to them on how families can be done and counseling them. Because sometimes we just appreciate the treatment and not appreciate the, 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 the counseling bit. The first strategy has been funding allocation. The second strategy is uh, having GBV issues at least a training or mentorship for some key people in facilities on GBV and putting them on CMEs, continuous medical education, so that these people, health workers, keep appreciating time and again that GBV issues have a direct correlation with health. I think this has created, first of all, to me, a lot of knowledge as a person on issues I did not either appreciate or I did not know. And my feeling is it should not end with us. It should not end with me. Yes, for me, I have known. I am able to first begin with my family because you begin from home. But others also need to, to, to be given this. Whichever way, that is very rare in that we don't have radios. But this message was very good to be on radio with people debating it and people appreciating, especially the women beating. You are aware that in that women beating is one of the biggest GBV issues. And uh, sometimes people say they're beating their cows. So you should actually, we should keep talking to the people. So I, I think we should cascade this training to even the leaders. Because if leaders, especially the political leaders, I have, no, have not appreciated something, it is very hard for the other subjects to appreciate it. So they should appreciate, then they, they practice. And the others also see an example and say, please, uh, I think woman beating is not a solution. We can, we have other ways of, of resolving conflict. Uh, for me, the first approach is uh, the district taking lead and uh, allocating funding I mean, to this issue of GBV. Then the second one is having politicians, political leaders, going on to radios, discussing, uh, uh, discussing maybe with the moderator on how this practice is not key. It was a practice or an ancient practice that should no longer be there. Then we must have a multi-sectoral approach. 
in which all departments in the district, whenever they have an opportunity to meet people who are discuss something on GBV, then key partnerships. We should partner with the other development partners who are working with us to ensure that GBV is an issue of the past.